Greetings, people of the internet, and this is XGenerator 3, and in today's video, I'm going to show you some stuff, and this is also just to show you, this is just a little tease to show you some of one of the animations I'm working on, and today we're going to be talking about perspective. Now, perspective is if I have basically, let's see, so if I draw, let me get a better color besides that, let me see, so if I have a man here, now, what I could do is, if I really wanted to, I could make this, I could make a man look smaller by putting him behind him. But in reality, this man is the same size. He is just behind him in a way that, oh, I would think that he's smaller, but he's not. So what we would do is put him up here. But see, if he was smaller, how it would really work is he would be here. He would be on the same level. But to make it appear to make it appear as if he's the same man just far away, we would put him up here. So you can see that this whole area is the ground and this area here is the distance between them. Here. Now in real life this would I don't know, approximately be let's think here. Probably about two meters, two M. Let's put two M for two meters. It doesn't really look like it because this program is a piece of shit when it comes to actually drawing with the brush. And essentially, this is two meters, right? Well, in real life, you know, that would be two meters. But see, the thing is, is that this is, these are the same people. They're not the exact same people. Let me show a better reference of what I'm talking about when I say they could be the same people. Now, a real way to do this would be to click Control c and copy this character. Or just go straight up to the character, right click, and say copy. And then you would click Control V, or, you know, or, um, Control V, or con to paste in place, Control Shift V. Now, what we're gonna do is, is we're gonna take the character that we pasted, we're gonna shrink him down and put him up into this area here just over here now this is a, about a meter and a half to be honest so we're gonna put um two m no no let's say that, let's use the rotate tool two m one half hmm no there we go so this is two meters and one half now if you look very closely these are the same people these are the exact same people, but I'm using perspective to make him look smaller, even though they're the same people. This guy is just far away. If he was smaller, let me show you a better reference of that, he would look like this. Now, if he were smaller, he'd look something like this. He'd be on the exact same level as him, but he would be he would be on the exact same level and in the exact same like right next to him to show oh hey he's smaller but again oh wait let's let me fix this so uh, but again if i were to take this character and put him up here it would appear that he is smaller but in reality he is just far away from this character that's how you do that in a 2d program mainly anyway mostly 2d program now, see, perspective is something that a lot of animators and artists get wrong when they're doing the work. So, a good way to show this is to draw a small baseball field like this, okay? And we're going to have one man at the end here, and these are not going to be the same people. They're just going to be two different people. We're going to have him here, and we're going to have him have a ball in his hand. And I have an arm with little swoops on it to show, oh, he's pushing it back. But then this guy, there's going to be a guy here, and he's going to be smaller. Um, Let's actually show him being smaller. Let's just do this. Now, in reality, he is not smaller. He's just far away and you can tell this because they're not on the same level now if he were on the same level then that would mean that you know so let's let's draw a way for you to understand that so the level he's on is here okay so this is just a level that sh that he's not on this the level same level as this guy it shows that he is actually farther down that way over there but 
he is not smaller. Now, again, a way to show you that he's smaller is to place him back where he was. Oh, wait, what did I do? No, that's not what I meant to do. Um, now, a way to show that he's smaller is just to do, you know, just like I was doing, but then take him. Oh, wait, no. Let's take, let's do this. And then we're going to take him, shrink him, but put him on the same level to show that he's just smaller. These are same people, they're small. I mean, they're not the same people, but you know what I mean. They're just smaller. So now they are on the exact same level. Exact same level as each other. And uh, that's how you basically draw perspective. Now, I was never very good at drawing perspective. So some of my animations may be off on perspective. But when I'm drawing images, I try to get perspective done good as much as I can. <sighs> During animation, I'm just, I'm just so, like, in a zone, I kind of forget some stuff. So this is the end of this video. I hope this video was helpful in regard of perspective towards characters. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like, leave a comment, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Hi there. Make sure you subscribe for more content. Remember to share things that you create on Newgrounds.com.